Hey, what's up guys? This is Kevin Silva from Social Media Money Masters. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Google Circles and how they work. So basically, uh, the way Circles work on Google Plus is we can add anyone we like to one of our circles, okay? Now, we can add people to our circles even if we're not friends with them, okay? So it's not like Facebook where you have to be friends with somebody to add them to your friends list, right? Uh, when it comes to, well, actually, I should take that back. Now, uh, Facebook recently, uh, as recently as yesterday, just added what's called um, subscriptions, okay? So you could subscribe to people's uh, posts even if they're not your friend. Uh, but we'll get into that in another video. So what we want to do is you could see over here on the right hand side, right, where it says sh suggestions, where they're suggesting people to me that I might want to add to circles. So what I could do is simply just hover my mouse over that person where it says add to circles and I can choose from one of my circles. OK, I have a bunch of t uh, circles created and I can add Thomas here uh, to any circle. So the way I've set my circles up is like this. I have uh, people that are in the social media world. Uh, friends, actual friends, uh, people that I know and interact with, uh, and that I've, you know, I actually know in the real world. Uh, networking. Uh, this is usually where I add people that I don't know, uh, but that they they added me, or you know, I, I add them, and you know, just to network. Uh, then I have uh, following. <clears throat> I don't know what that one is. I can't remember acquaintances. I think actually these are uh, these are what Google starts you off with. And then there's internet marketers, and then I am top dogs. So these are all the top guys in internet marketing, right? So Thomas here, uh, if I if I know who he is, so he's e, he owns e Academy. Uh, uh, so you know, obviously he's gonna be uh, in the you know internet marketing world. So I could add him to whatever circle I like. Now they're really good about who they suggest to add to your circles, uh, and for them to really get a feel for who you want and who they should be suggesting to you, what you want to do is you want to follow a lot of people in your market or, or in you know whatever interests you have if you follow a lot of people in that in that uh, 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 market or, or category uh, what Google would do is find other people uh, that are it all also interested in that topic and start suggesting them to you okay so here we can also see uh, what the circles does for us okay so over here you can see stream. In the stream, we can I can go to the social media uh, stream, and what that'll do is that'll have uh, Google only show me posts from the people I have in my social media circle. Okay, so here's all the posts from all the all the people that I'm following or that I have in my Google Plus social media circle. So that's how that works. Okay, uh, and you can see I have uh, these are the people I have inside of that circle. Now the cool thing is we can add. Uh, the same person to multiple circles, okay? Uh, you don't have to add them all to the, you know, once you add somebody to a circle, it's not like that's it. They're in that circle and they're trapped in there. You can add them to as many circles as you like, okay? So that's how we do that. And what we can do is uh, in, in other videos, I'm not going to go too deep into this video on the other things, but in, other vid uh, in another video, I'll show you how you can um, invite other people from other uh, networks into Google Plus, stuff like that. But that's pretty much how circles work. Now let's talk about posting, okay? When you post, if you wanna post stuff and only have it shown to certain people uh, in a certain circle. So if I was gonna make a post, right? So this would be my post. Um, you could see over here, this right here, okay? So social media. So you could see that uh, if I have social media, this will go out to all the people in the social media circle, okay? So about 42 people. Now. I could uh, do that or I can X that out. Okay, normally that's going to say public. Normally that's going to say public. So let me go back to my uh, homepage. See over how it says public? Well, public means that anyone uh, who's uh, added me to a circle as well as uh, on your public profile, they will see that post. So they don't have to be uh, involved in any way, anybody. That's kind of like the Twitter feed, okay? Now we could we could have it go public. We can add more circles, okay? So we can add all the circles we want there. Uh, we can also, by clicking on this, add more people. We can also start typing the names, okay? So I can start typing the names. So if I put guy, there's Ka guy Kawasaki. So there's five people with guy. I can choose uh, individual people, okay? 
Now, you will you might notice here that I have some other things uh, like Facebook, you know, my, my fan pages, uh, my Twitter account. Uh, well, that's another video that I'll be doing on how to sync up your post. That's, you know, syndicating your content or your post so that when you make, when you have some type of activity on Google+, Plus, it'll instantly be sent out to Facebook, Twitter, your fan pages, uh, and so on. So that's how circles work, guys. Now, what we could do is if you wanted to add people quickly to your circles, if you want to start building a quick following, what we could do is a few things. We can come over here to the suggestions that uh, Google Plus is making and go to show all. Now, unlike Facebook, where, you know, Facebook only allows us to add like 15 friends a day uh, over here. See all these people that Google is uh, suggesting to me. I can come over here to more actions. I can go to select all and boom, select all these people and I can grab them. Then what I would do is that I would just, you know, click, hold down and drag them into whatever circle I want them to be in. So I could drop them here. I could drop them into this circle. If I wanted to create a brand new circle, see where it says drop contacts here to create a new circle. I could drop there. I could drop them wherever I like. Okay. So that would be one way I could do it. Now over here, uh, see where it says find friends. We can import friends from uh, uh, Yahoo, Hotmail. We can upload a CSV file. Uh, and I show you also in, in this series uh, or on socialmediamoneymasters.com. I'll have videos over there showing you how to do all these other things. Uh, I'll show you how to export your friends list from Facebook, okay, uh, into a CSV file, which you can then upload into Google Plus and also LinkedIn and any other site that allows you to upload CSVs uh, and put them into uh, a circle called Facebook friends, okay? So guys, that's pretty much how circles works uh, in you know a quick overview. That's how circle works. You can add as many people as you like and um, you know it's completely up to you how you separate them whether it's you know friends over here or, or co-workers over there or if you're you know an internet marketer um, and you're going to be doing some marketing uh, you might want to split them up by you know what topic or market they're in uh, whether they're a leader in that market or whether they're uh, just interested so whether they're a prospect or a leader or a JV partner uh, you can see here, that's pretty much how I'm splitting this up, right? I have networking, I have friends, I have people interested in social media, and then I have the leaders uh, of the market. Then I have internet marketers over here. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you want more videos like this, go over to socialmediamoneymasters.com uh, and we'll have tons of free content over there on Google+, Plus, as well as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, WikiHow, WordPress, you name it, we cover it. See you there.